Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we want to talk about the health benefits of supplementing collagen. Collagen is that substance in our body that gives us integrity and strength. It gives us tensile strength and keeps us from tearing apart. And as we age, our collagen levels decline and it causes health problems. And we want to talk about the proven health benefits of supplementing collagen. It's really an interesting program and uh, it provides uh, benefits that you may not suspect. So we'll get into that. That's our topic for today. Stay tuned for that. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Students that receive lessons outdoors become more attentive and engaged. Researchers from the University of Illinois followed third graders' school progress over a 10-week period. They found when teachers conducted class outside, the children's attention and lesson engagement dramatically improved during the next class indoors. They also found the nature effect allowed teachers to teach uninterrupted for about twice as long. Study was published by Frontiers in Psychology. Related research from two separate research groups, one from King's College London and the other from the University of British Columbia find, regularly looking at and appreciating the various aspects of the great outdoors leads to improved overall well-being. And from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, researchers find cancer patients who suffer from insomnia show improved sleep efficiency and sleep quality when they expose themselves to 30 minutes of bright light every morning. And finally, from the University of Alberta, researchers may have explained at least in part why we often gain weight during the winter months. Researchers found from laboratory studies, subcutaneous fat cells shrink in size when exposed to the blue light component of sunshine and increase in size when depressed deprived of light such as occurs during the winter months. This study was published by Scientific Reports. Well, folks, we've been told over and over that being outdoors and having the sunshine, its bright light onto our skin is dangerous and it's to be avoided at all costs. Further, most school districts have now abandoned outdoor recess so that children will have more time indoors to complete their studies. Also, we're regularly told of the serious infectious diseases we may contract while outdoors, such as Lyme disease or West Nile virus. And it seems absurd just absurd to this reporter that we even have to reestablish the health and behavior benefits of being outdoors in nature exposed to the bright light of the sun. Humans have been doing this very thing for thousands of years. It is a vital part of who and what we are and we cannot attain optimal health without regular outdoor activity. It's just that simple. But things have changed dramatically in recent years and millions of humans are suffering due to this nature avoidance. We now know from solid scientific investigation, sunlight and being outdoors provides over 25 proven health benefits besides the benefits of vitamin D and melatonin. Our current studies and today's news reveal when school children are allowed to attend class outdoors, it improves their attention and subject engagement during the classes that follow. We learned from two separate research groups that the regular immersion and appreciation of nature improves well-being. I must wonder how those who live in the concrete canyons of a city fulfill their need for nature immersion. I also feel for cancer patients and those who are critically ill. These poor souls are often and often by necessity isolated from the rewards of nature. Cancer patients who, by the way, are notorious insomniacs, these cancer patients show improved sleep efficiency and sleep quality when they expose themselves to bright light every morning for just 30 minutes. And we also learn the sunshine helps to keep us thin by shrinking the size of fat cells that reside directly under the skin. Now, I'm reminded of days long past when hospital and sanitarium patients were routinely rolled outdoors in wheelchairs to soak up the sun. Why? Because sunlight and being in nature provides health benefits no drug can ever provide. Well, today on Your Health, we will discuss the health attributes of supplementing collagen. Join us to learn more. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December is a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. 
We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Dr. Becker and this is your health at a glance. Are you one of the millions of Americans who are at risk for heart problems? If your diet is like the average Americans, you're getting far more sodium than your body needs and this may create serious problems for your heart. A new study from the Netherlands showed that a diet high in salt not only increases blood pressure to dangerous levels, it also causes damage to your blood vessels. To avoid these problems, you need to avoid foods that are high in salt, such as preserved and prepared foods like frozen dinners, canned soups and other canned foods, cured meats such as lunch meat, hot dogs, bacon and sausage, condiments and sauces such as soy sauce, teriyaki sauce and spaghetti sauce, and snack foods such as salted nuts, pretzels and chips. Eat fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh meats, poultry, fish and other salt-free alternatives. As you decrease your intake of salt, your desire for salty foods will eventually be reduced. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Becker. Do you believe that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It's such a blessing to be with you today. I hope everything is wonderful wherever you are. Well, today's show is going to be really great. You know why? We get to learn about something new. I just love it the more we can expand our knowledge in health and wellness and that we are able to bring this knowledge to you. This is one of those things that's interesting. We're going to be talking about collagen supplementation. You might think, well, my mother used to use, what was it? The gelatin? They would always use gelatin? Is that the same thing? I don't know. We're going to talk all about collagen today, if there's really something to it, and maybe it really can help you. Richard, collagen supplementation is quite interesting. It is fascinating, and it's become quite trendy mm -hmm. to uh, add a little collagen to your supplement plan. And so the question is, does it really help? And what are the best ways to take collagen and for what conditions? To understand all those questions and answer them properly, let's explore the world of collagen a little bit, a little scientific background. Collagen is the main structural protein of connective tissues. Collagen provides tear resistance, tensile strength, and throughout nature there are at least 28 different types of collagen, and in humans we have at least 16 different types. The various human collagens make up our connective tissues. You find collagen in our skin, in our finger and toenails, tendons, cartilage. It's the main component of our hair, the fascia, the connective tissues in our muscle and whatnot, holds our muscle uh, to other structures, basement membranes, filtration membranes in the kidneys, of course our bones, it's the integument of the bones that holds the mineral together and all the various structures. Collagen gives our body rigidity and integrity. We can also find collagen in delicate tissues like the lens of our eye, blood vessels, in our muscle, intestines, and all the organs. Collagen makes up fully one-third of all human proteins. 
Now, I mentioned we have 16 different types of collagens, but type 1 and type 3 collagen makes up 90% of the total human collagens. Type 3 is found next to type 1 as a supportive structure, so type 1 collagen is far and away the most common collagen in the human body. Now, collagen itself, the varying collagen, is an amino acid protein chain. Amino acids are like the links of a chain. Just imagine this steel chain that is linked together. Each link is an amino acid, and when they are put together, short stretches of amino acids hooked together are called peptides, two, three, four, five, 10, 20, 50. Long stretches of chain, that's called a protein. That's the basic structure of of all proteins in the human body. Now, in collagen, the protein chain features repeating amino acid units. They consist of glycine, protein, or proline, glycine, proline, and a variable amino acid. Stick with me, and this is the most complicated part of the whole discussion, but you get through this, you will understand collagen much better and you'll know how to use it better. So collagen consists of repeating units of glycine, proline, and a variable amino acid, one of the 20, or glycine, a variable, and hydroxyproline. Now, glycine contributes fully one-third of the chain of most all of the human collagens, one-third of it, so it's the most common, and there's a reason for that. And I'll explain that in a minute. The second most common is proline. That's about 17% of all collagens. The variable amino acid can be any of the 20 amino acids except for tryptophan. Except for tryptophan. When the variable amino acid is proline or lysine, it can be hydroxylated to hydroxyproline or hydroxylysine, and these are called post-translational additions to the chain, and that is because the post-translation refers to after the DNA instruction. DNA carries the code to make a protein, but it doesn't have a code for hydroxyproline or hydroxylysine. That's added afterwards, so they call it post-translational. And that is important because this is where vitamin C comes into play. You remember scurvy, if our collagen crosslinks fall apart due to lack of vitamin C, we call that scurvy and it can be a fatal disease. Now, the repeating glycine proline variable amino acid protein is then wound into a triple helix. So we have a long chain. It's wound to a curve to the left. That's me. For me, for you, it would be this direction, a curve to the left. Three of them go together. They curve to the left, making a rope. Three of these come together. They're bound to the right making a very strong, stronger than steel cable per weight connective tissue that holds us all together. Isn't that amazing? Now, so we have a triple, triple helix. The reason we, God designed us to have glycine as the most common amino acid is glycine is the simplest amino acid. There's no side group on it. And that gets put into the center of the helix so it can be held tight together. Does that make sense? It does. All the other amino acids have a side chain off to the side, and that wouldn't work in this tightly wound triple helix. I think that's just amazing. Now, this complex nature of collagen delayed its uh, discovery and description for many decades. Some of the best scientific minds of the 1900s worked on this for a long time to figure it out. They discovered and understood DNA and other proteins and whatnot much sooner than the collagen, and you understand why. Now, imagine there's 28 different types on top of it, so it does get quite complicated, and we don't have to get into all that stuff. But for our purpose, Purposes. It's a, a, amino acids. It can be any of the 20 known amino acids. There's two others that are very rare, but we don't deal with those. 20 of the amino acids, and it has all of them except tryptophan. And that's a very important exception, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Now, we mentioned hydroxyproline and hydroxylysine, these post-translational, after the DNA step, uh, are amino acids. Their production and cross-linking this is, remember the triple, triple helix? Well, not only is it attached like a chain, but there's cross links between the chains that hold it all together so you can't 
tear it apart this way or this way. It makes it very strong. Their production and cross-linking requires vitamin C. When there's not enough vitamin C, collagen unravels, breaks apart, and scurvy results. Now, it doesn't take a lot of vitamin C to prevent that, but why would you even want to get close to that state of affairs? Abundant vitamin C is a good idea. Collagen's complexity delayed its full discovery. All of the 28 collagens contain all the amino acids except tryptophan. This includes eight of the nine essentials, because tryptophan isn't essential, but it is absent from collagen, and all the conditionally essential amino acids, which are six of those. Now, <clears throat> why is that all so important? Next step to understanding that. How does our body make collagen? How do we make it? Must we ingest the different collagens to benefit from it? That's a good question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do I need to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 12, 14? You know, we have some 18 of them in our body. Do we have to take a little of every one to receive a benefit from collagen? Well, here's the answer. No, we do not. We make our own collagens. We have enzymes that make our collagen. Dietary protein and collagen chains can be broken down by acid and digestive enzymes into amino acids and short peptide chains called peptides. We talked about that. Our internal enzymes build the amino acids and the short peptide chains into protein chains that we call collagen. Short chain collagen peptides are capable of promoting production of specific collagens while inhibiting their degradation. So here's the idea. We take the amino acids, we digest the collagen down, release those amino acids and short peptide chains. Then our body turns that into our internal collagens and it does it automatically without thought or planning. It's just part of life. However, if we take some of these shorter peptide chains and ingest them, our body will absorb them into our bloodstream and they have a sig signaling property. They become hormonal-like. And what they do is they tell the body, quit degrading your cartilage in your joints and build more because we have the building blocks to build more. So there is a benefit from the peptide chains, but we primarily, far and away, make our collagen chains. This leads to the notion that it's not necessary to supplement all these varying collagens. There's so many of them from all these different sources. Why expose you yourself to all these different animal sources when you can get it from a good, clean source such as beef and it provides all of it? All right, when we come back, let's talk about the conditions of life that reduce our collagen levels, which may mean you need to supplement it. Who needs to supplement collagen when we return? Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December is a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and take Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Cindy Becker for your health at a glance. We all have said, I need to get some exercise, but how many of us put on our walking shoes and go? Learning a little more about the health benefits of exercise may help you get motivated to lace up those walking shoes. Exercise helps to control our appetite and weight. It maintains strong muscles. It promotes the release of endorphins that counter depression while helping us feel good about our lives. Exercise helps to lower blood glucose, promotes a strong circulatory system, and controls cholesterol. Exercise even helps us get a good night's sleep. 
Recent research finds dog owners who regularly walk their pet are 34% more likely to achieve fitness goals. You can get all of these health benefits by walking 30 minutes four times a week. Just 30 minutes a day. Start today and you'll start to get all those benefits. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Welcome back, everyone. We're learning all about collagen and whether or not we need to supplement this in our nutritional plan. So, Richard, this is really, this gets interesting. It is, and it's a little complicated, but it's not too bad. Uh, collagen is very complex. Mm -hmm. There's some 28 different types of collagen. Humans have 16. We do not need to ingest all those different types to benefit from collagen supplementation. However, we have to treat the collagen a little bit before we can benefit. Imagine trying to survive off of shoe leather, tendons, bones, and connective tissue. This has happened in survival settings. Uh, 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 sailors who get stranded in certain places uh, separated from food and survive, various survival settings. And we all know that you can't live off of shoe leather, bones, this type of thing. And the reason for this is that it is, although it's a good protein source, it is deficient in tryptophan, and tryptophan is an essential amino acid, and eventually you will succumb for having inadequate protein in your diet. So it is very difficult to digest bone, cartilage, tendons, hair, finger, and toenails, and fascia, plus collagen lacks the essential tryptophan. So it is not a single protein source. It's not viable for that. It is used as a supplement to your diet. Uh, Predigested collagens provide the most benefits. This is the breakthrough that we have uh, achieved in the supplement world is pre-digesting the collagen so our bodies can handle the digestion of bones and tendons and this type of thing. We help with that digestive process. Now as an interesting aside, there are some animals that are very efficient at digesting hair, bones, and tendons. And these an are animals that tend to swallow their foods whole. Think of that. Uh, snakes, they, swallow, they don't chew their food, do they? and yet they can survive. I have seen coyotes kill a, a mouse, a rat, this type of thing, and they just swallow it whole. Any outdoorsman has seen this, anybody who spends time in nature has seen this type of thing. But we humans are not like that, so we do not have that advantage. Simply stated, it's not necessarily necessary to supplement all the various types of collagen, but breaking that collagen down into its base amino acids and its shorter peptides pays big dividends. Now, what are the conditions in life that may reduce our collagen levels, meaning who would uh, benefit from collagen supplementation. I advancing age. We've all experienced with advancing age the sagging effect. The abdomen droops, the belly protrudes a little more, the skin begins to have wrinkles. This is part of aging, and that condition, the wrinkle, the sag, is due to the loss of supportive collagen tissue. Also, hormonal changes influence collagen, the hormonal changes of life, the changes of menopause, the lowering testosterone levels for men, that affects our collagen levels. Stress and overwork, both physical and mental stress, affects collagen. This has all been proven in good scientific studies. Poor diet, nutrient deficiencies. If you don't have enough protein in your diet, you are going to compromise the strength of your collagen. Just makes sense. You understand how collagen is made now. 
Hydrogenated oils, the bad fats, has an effect on processed foods, sugar and dehydration, alcohol, all of this can affect your collagen. Fluoridated water and certain medications, the fluoroquinones, these are antibiotics. Uh, Levaquin, Cipro, you've heard of these. And we now have warnings with these medicines because they weaken collagen, especially in seniors, enough that you can, just lifting your coffee cup can tear your tendon. And this is due to medications. Uh, so we have to be careful with our medicines, and it's not a bad idea to check your medicines to see if there's ever been reports of damage to our collagen levels. The big one, of course, are the quinolone antibiotics. Sun, excessive sun. We all have seen people who spend way too much time in the sun, sun tanning. A little sun is good. Outdoor activities are great. I think everybody agrees with that, but we can get too much, and there is excessive wrinkling. Ultraviolet light uh, can damage the collagen levels of your skin. Trauma, obviously we can tear body structures with trauma. Poor intestinal health, if we can't process our foods properly, we're going to have poor collagen levels. Collagen production enzyme deficiencies, there are inherited uh, errors of metabolism that some people, these are not very common, but they are out there. They don't make their collagen normally. An example of that is Ehlers-Danlos. These, these people are extremely double-jointed, extreme flexibility. Uh, for example, they could take their thumb, I don't want to go much further than that. It's easy for them to bend their thumb all the way down to their forearm. That's a classic sign. Can you do that? Are you double jointed? That's what the old saying. Remember when we were kids, are you double jointed? And we test and all this. And some kids, one or two in the school, could bend it so far you go, oh, you know, it kind of scares you. Well, that person could have this Ehlers Danlos. They have been shown to benefit from collagen supplementation. I'll give you the formula for that before the end of the program. There are signs that you may need to uh, supplement collagen that you might benefit from that. Wrinkles, sagging skin, slow hair and slow nail growth. If you only need a haircut every six months, men, you might would benefit from taking a little extra collagen because remember, not only is it hair, collagen is involved in everything that holds us together, including your blood vessels. You don't want to rupture. You know, have you noticed, Cindy, as we get older, seniors, they often have bruises on their arm. Now, they may be taking a blood thinner, you know, a platelet inhibitor or an anticoagulant. That's true. But with age, our blood vessels become more fragile, and we bruise each other. And I've, I've met many seniors, and they're just, their forearms all over. There's bruises everywhere. Well, collagen supplementation could help you dramatically. Plus, it thickens the skin, and we'll get to that in a minute. So, slow hair and nail growth, joint pains, stature decline, shrinking stature. You might benefit from collagen supplementation. Poor organ function and overall muscle weakness. These are signs that you might really benefit from collagen supplementation. Now, as we enter the world of scientific study of collagen supplementation, what have the scientists found? Well, when we supplement collagen, we have learned that you have enhanced antioxidant capacity. These amino acids, they're, they're not quite as good as, say, vitamin C or curcumin or some of these other tremendous antioxidants we can take, but they do have a, an antioxidant capacity. So getting a little more amino acid in your diet from collagen improves your antioxidant capacity, which further helps delay the visible signs of aging and the internal signs of aging as well because free radical damage plays a major role in the generation of the loss of our collagen and aging. Anti-aging effect, improved cellulite. You know, before this research was done, if I'd been asked by one woman, I'd been asked by a thousand, what can I do for cellulite? I try to lose weight, I go to the gym, I do all these things, but this cellulite, it really annoys me. Well, guess what? Collagen helps cellulite. Isn't that amazing? And we have the evidence to prove it. Wrinkles and tone. Anti-aging effect, improved cellulite, wrinkles and tone.
We also know from good studies that so, uh, uh, collagen helps in the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis, the thinning of the bones, the shrinking of stature, and osteoarthritis, the wearing out of the joints. Remember, collagen is the integument. It's the structure. It helps you resist tearing. It improves your tensile strength, so everything's stronger. Keep that up. Your bones are more resistant to decay and erosion. Makes sense, doesn't it? Decreased destruction of existing collagen and increases production of new collagen. So we are in an ebb and flow, the tides of life, the buildup and the breakdown. And Patient slows the breaking down while it accentuates the building up. So it's a one-two punch, and that's a good thing. That really helps. Enhanced wound healing. Maybe you're in a horrific car accident and you have multiple broken bones and surgeries and, and you need a little boost to help you heal. How about burns, severe burns? You need more protein and collagen is a viable source. Anti-inflammatory effect, there's an anti-tumor effect, reduces cardiovascular disease risk, aneurysm risk, this type of thing, and it improves cholesterol levels. These are the scientifically proven benefits. When we return, let's talk about some clinical trials with collagen. We'll be back. Hello, I'm Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and tell a friend about the savings. Or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy New Year. I'm Dr. Richard Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Could some of your favorite foods be making you sick? Cases of non-allergic food intolerance are on the rise. This is different than food allergies. Recent surveys reveal up to 20% of us may be suffering from food intolerance. People who have a higher risk of non-allergic food sensitivity are those with other types of allergies, such as hay fever, or irritable bowel syndrome, hepatitis C, chronic indigestion, abdominal pain, or constipation. Non-allergic food intolerance can be delayed up to 48 hours or longer. So you may not connect something you ate two days ago with fatigue, headaches, abdominal pain, or depression. You can keep a food diary and write down everything you eat. Blood tests can diagnose the problem. Or an elimination diet can help you detect the foods that are causing your symptoms. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acids so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128.
We're back, everyone, discussing the benefits of collagen supplementation. This is so interesting, and we're excited to let you know that at BioNutrients, we now have an amazing collagen peptide product. That's the types one and three that Richard was talking about. This one is a fantastic price today. You'll have to call for details, but don't miss it. So Richard, let's talk about the effective ways to support our collagen network. Well, the old traditional way of supporting your collagen network is to boil animal skins and bones and make gelatin. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that in the introduction. And I like the jello salads. They're, they're tasty and, they're good, and they do provide some benefit. The problem with the jello gelatin salads is that gelatin is made of peptides and some amino acids, but they tend to be longer ones. It's not a very efficient breakdown into the base chain units, you know, the links. It's not quite down to the links. And so we only absorb about half of the gelatin amino acids. There's benefit there, but it's not as efficient. Um, also, the bone broth is an ancient and trendy way to increase your collagen. And I encourage you from time to time to make bone broth soups this type of thing, it's very healthy and that does provide benefits aside from collagen. There are minerals that are released in bone broth. There's also, if you're including the bone marrow in the boiling, there are nutrients, essential fats, and certain things that uh, give you benefit as well. But it takes 48 hours of boiling to really release all these nutrients and that's labor intensive, isn't it? That's hard to keep going. But from time to time, it's a good idea to boil the bones. I don't think anybody's boiling animal skins anymore and I wouldn't recommend that because, well, it's just too involved. It can be done, but it's too involved. The next is pre-digested or hydrolyzed collagen. This is an industrial way. Uh, you should think of it more of as an industrial way to create collagen. And they use strong acid to cleave the, the peptide links apart into the base amino acids. Then you have to neutralize or get rid of the chemicals. That's not so easy to do. And it leaves a taste and... I don't want anything to do with that. I know how they make that kind of stuff, and I don't want to take that kind of product. The best way is with enzymatic hydrologen of collagenous, collagenous uh, structures of our common food animals, such as beef. This is a, uh, an enzyme. It is highly efficient. It is effective, and it provides the best quality product with no byproducts. See, we're using a protein to digest a protein. This is a protein we can ingest anyway, so it's all good. See, it works. It gives you the base amino acid units, and it gives you the shorter peptides that have a hormonal-like effect to the body, stimulating the production of more collagen. So it's win-win with the enzymatic hydrolysis. Is it necessary to supplement all the various types of collagen? No, we've covered this, but I want to emphasize you can do that. You can get type 1, 3, 2, 7, 9. You can do all that, but it's really not necessary because our bodies are in charge of that. We want to give the body as many of the base amino acids and some of these short peptides that have that hormonal effect that promote strong bones, strong tendons, and this type of thing. So you don't have to supplement all those. It's just not necessary. And for many people, if there's shellfish in there, and there's chicken, and there's beef, and there's pork, or whatever, all that, and maybe you're allergic or sensitive uh, to one of these protein sources, that's not so good for you. You're not really sure where it's all coming from. I like to keep my food simple, as unadulterated as possible. That's why we stick with the beef source. One and three, it works. Now, let's talk a little bit about the scientifically supported uses of collagen supplements. Let's go right to the research and let's see what the scientists said. Here's a, a study published in Skin Pharmacology and Physiology. 114 women, ages 45 to 65, middle-aged women, two and one half grams, that's about one teaspoon of Verisol collagen, and that's the type we have for you. So this is scientifically proven products. Not a me too, scientifically proven. One teaspoon of the Verisol collagen versus placebo for eight weeks. And they not only evaluated the skin with vision, but they took skin samples, histologic samples, biopsies to study the skin scientifically. Collagen therapy reduced eye wrinkles by 20%. 
increased pro-collagen, the, the, the precursor state, by 65%. Elastin and fibrillin, these are supportive proteins. It's not collagen, but it gives the elasticity to the skin. So the wrinkle bounces back. See, that's youthfulness. It increased the elastin 18% and fibrillin 6%. Collagen therapy increased the density and toughness of skin, less bruising, less bruising. Reduced the waviness of skin, increased skin moisture and elasticity, and the subjects noted faster hair and nail growth. They weren't studying that in their study, but the people said, boy, my nails are just shooting out. Isn't this wonderful? I have the best nails in years. Many, many of the subjects express that. Next one, Journal of Medicinal Foods. 105 women ages 24 to 50 with moderate cellulite. You know, the, the bumpy looking fat deposits under the skin. Kind of looks like cottage cheesy. You know what I'm talking about, cellulite. Two and a half grams, one teaspoon of verisol or placebo for six months. Collagen reduced cellulite and skin waviness, increased dermal density, and affected, uh, nor it was an effective normal excuse me, it affected, it improved the skin of normal and overweight subjects. Follow? It helps uh, cellulite in both overweight and, and normal weight. It improved the overall appearance of the skin. Next study, skin pharmacology and physiology, 69 women ages 25 to 55. They did one teaspoon or two teaspoons of collagen therapy or placebo. Low and high dose collagen, one or two, they both showed improved skin elasticity and a trend towards improved moisture and skin evaporation. One more before the break, hair and nails. Multiple studies now have shown improvement of nails after two months, usually about a 40% decrease in cracking and chipping of the nails, along with more rapid and longer nail growth observed by 75% of the study subjects at six months. Personally, I've seen improved nail and hair growth within days of taking collagen. It's remarkable how fast it helps. Also, 80% of the subjects were completely satisfied with their nail and hair improvements. When we return, let's talk about, let's say you have that hypermobility, the super double jointedness, ehlers danlos What's the formula to help stiffen up your connective tissues so your pain level can drop? We'll have that formula when we return. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Here is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Christian counselor Dr. Henry Brandt wrote, to dwell above with the saints we love. That will be grace and glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. Throughout our lives, we encounter difficult people. These souls challenge the best of us. But the Apostle Paul suggested that we maintain our grace in spite of the actions of others. Paul wrote, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Paul acknowledged it may not be possible in all cases, but we should still do our best. Try to look at difficult people through Christ's eyes. Remember his sacrifice was for everyone, even those saints we know who challenge us. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. 
Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. back everyone just a quick reminder at bionutrients we now have bioactive hydrolyzed collagen peptides this is an amazing product the only thing i can tell you that's a negative about it is you're probably going to spend more money at the hairdresser because your hair will grow too it fast mm. anyway great price today you've got to check on that one don't miss that one but isn't that true richard it, is. it just it really does it you is. see a difference in your joint mobility your pain level Mm -hmm. Hair growth, the whole thing. Yeah. So anyway, we have some really amazing studies. We were talking about Ehlers-Danlos. Yes, this is the double jointedness, hypermobility. Right. And you, you know, the joints are designed to be in a certain range of motion, and when they go mm -hmm. too far, they wear out, and it's a painful condition. You can even have dislocations of the joints, and boy, this is no good. So anything that will stiffen up those joints for those inherited conditions like Ehlers-Danlos or Marfan syndrome is a good thing, and they found the formula is write this down if you know somebody like this calcium carnitine l-carnitine coenzyme q10 glucosamine magnesium msm the oligoproanthocytes uh, uh, opcs you find that in pycnogenol is one name and grapeseed extract is another pine bark extracts, the OPCs, silica, vitamin C, and vitamin K. So a quality multiple vitamin with your Heart Smart plan and your glucosamine chondroitin MSM, you're there. Add your collagen, and with time, you're going to find that your joints are going to get a little, little, I hate to use the term stiff, but these folks are tighter. hyper tighter and held in a better position so that it can endure the stresses of living. This is for the inherited conditions such as Ehlers-Danlos, extreme hypermobility. You know the type. Remember when we used to do this in school? You go, can you do that? And you go, oh, cringe. I can go all the way. That's not necessarily a good thing. We're trying to help people with that problem. Next, Journal of Pediatric Endocrinology and Metabolism. Supplementing collagen improves growth growth and bone health in prepubertal children. It is a viable protein source. Remember, it's deficient in tryptophan, so they need other proteins in their diet. But it's a very cheap and efficient way to boost a little protein into the kids. It improves their stature growth. Journal of American Dietetic Association combining collagen with whey protein. See, whey has all of that uh, tryptophan. It's good in tryptophan. Collagen with whey promotes nitrogen balance and lean body mass in elderly subjects. You know, as we age, it gets harder and harder to chew protein foods. A little protein supplementation can be of great benefit to the elderly. So a little whey, a little collagen, it helps with their degenerative joint disease, their body aches and pains, keeps their blood vessels strong to resist fragility and bruising, and it keeps their uh, muscle strength up. A very effective way to help the body mass, the lean body mass in elderly. Cur medical, current medical research and opinion, this is a review of all the existing research on collagen supplementation. Oral collagen is absorbed. That's what the, these are a panel of scientists that reviewed all the evidence for us. We need to take advantage of their efforts. Oral collagen, supplementing collagen orally is absorbed and well tolerated. The U.S. government, the FDA, considers collagen generally regarded as safe 
doesn't make people sick. People tolerate it just fine. It improves the synthesis of cartilage and they explain the mechanism. We know how it works. Provides consistent improvements in joint pain, number of painful joints, and improved musculoskeletal motion. That's the summary of all the existing research. Then we can add, you know, they're mostly concerned with internal, internal benefits. We talked about how it improves the skin and the wrinkles and the hair growth. You know, we doctors aren't so concerned about that. Many of us are. We're trying to stay young as long as possible, right? So anyway, next, WebMD.com did a review on collagen of its common uses, not necessarily scientifically proven, but what keep people have found. We call this putative use by reputation. Here's the list for collagen. Acne. No kidding. People use collagen to help with acne. Dry socket. You've had a tooth extracted and the socket doesn't want to heal. This can be very painful and one of the reasons why it's not healing is you don't have the stores of amino acids to contribute enough collagen to fill that in. Supplement the collagen and you'll get over that dry socket and there has been research on that, quite a bit of it. Proctology concerns such as hemorrhoids, rectal tears and rectal itching all seem to improve with collagen therapy. Injecting a little bit of collagen into tumors, cancerous tumors. Now you can't do this with an oral supplementation, but in an experimental setting, doctors take a little solution of collagen, inject it in the area, into the tumor, around the tumor, and what this does is it stimulates an immune response the, because the peptide chains, the protein chains, become antigens in that setting and it stimulates an, immun uh, an immunization-like effect against the cancer. It's experimental, but I wanted you to know the frontiers of collagen therapy. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Uh, collagen calms inflammation of the intestines that occurs in such conditions as inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. The intestinal cells turn over very quickly, very quickly. It's very demanding on the collagen synthesis networks of the intestinal tract, and supplementing a little collagen helps them. It's worth doing. Um, skin reactions to poison ivy or poison oak, I would have never thought that, but it's in the literature. People are finding benefit. Collagen helps contact dermatitis, poison ivy, po poison oak, psoriasis, and rheumatoid arthritis at ultra low doses. This is microgram dose. This is more of a homeopathic effect than a systemic building of collagen. Next, recovery from trauma or surgery. The amino acids also support various neurotransmitters for various sleep. And also one question before the break, the uh, beauty, bath and beauty industry has been applying collagen topically to skin in their preparations for decades. And I'm often asked, does that really work? There is a benefit to topical application, but the systemic use of supplementating your diet is far more effective. You can do a little of both and really get good benefits. So it plays a role. It can be helpful, but I recommend taking some internally, then you're really getting the benefit. Okay, so when we return, let's talk about the complete holistic plan in our summary of today's program of how to incorporate collagen and other holistic measures to give you the best you can get. We'll be right back. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Becker and this is your health at a glance. 
Did you know the typical baby born in America today has over 200 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream? The world is a polluted place, but just how polluted may come as a surprise. Health experts report that pollution plays a major role in the development of ADHD, obesity, cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and a wide variety of cancers, including prostate and breast cancer. There are safe and simple steps you can take to lower your exposure to chemicals. Eat an organic, pesticide-free diet whenever possible. Be careful with the home use of chemicals. Don't consume fish that may be contaminated with mercury. Have your water supply tested for purity and add house plants to lower indoor pollution levels. By taking a few basic steps, we can protect ourselves from disease-causing pollution. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important, it protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioNovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder on the Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Collagen Peptides. I don't want you to mix that one. That's the hydrolyzed types one and three, well-studied and bioactive. So, Richard, let's talk now about the holistic ways we can improve our yes. collagen, both our production, our stores, and, you know, we want to stay... Yeah. healthy and fit as long it, as we can. It's not just doing one thing, it's the whole package. Right. That's where you really shine. Make the bone broth. Uh, it, this is a very good idea to do, but I think you'll find over time, it's hard to keep that up every day. But taking a little collagen with your protein smoothie, that's not so hard. Red light laser therapy. Red light in the laser form actually stimulates the collagen production. This is amazing stuff. Uh, we know a therapist who's been using this for 20 years with remarkable results. So if you have an injury, post-surgery recovery, uh, use the red light laser along with your collagen supplementation. You're going to heal a lot faster. It really does make a difference. Vitamin A prolongs collagen life. There's a place for vitamin A in this uh, process. Of course, vitamin C, we mentioned that. Take a little extra vitamin C. It really helps promote strong collagen. Ginseng, the herb ginseng increases collagen base units in the bloodstream. And we know when that occurs, you create and make more uh, uh, collagen. Hyaluronic acid. People say, should I do collagen or hyaluronic? Do them both. They're not the same. Hyaluronic is not collagen, it's more of a colloid. We don't have time to go into that, but do that as well. Antioxidant plant pigments, they help block the damaging effect of the sun, like um, curcumin and grapeseed extract, this type of thing. And garlic, onions, egg yolks, those yellow foods, they, they contribute uh, sulfur to give you strong cross linkings. Well, the bionutrients, Verisol collagen peptides, 80 servings, two and a half grams per serving. This stuff really works. One scoop in with your vitamin mix or your smoothie in the morning and you're good to go. And don't forget the arthritis. You know, the number one reason to be disabled in America, you know what that is? It's joint pain, arthritis. Uh, in osteoporosis, this type of thing. These are the things that we can do to really help. It's not just about beauty and anti-aging. It's about lowering your pain levels, healing and recovering from injury, and promoting a quality of life. And you know, it's all to the glory of God, isn't it? That's the beauty of it all. Thank you so much for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.
Jesus knew that a gripping story with an inspirational message was something people wouldn't soon forget. In fact, Jesus was a master storyteller. Hi, I'm Robert Jefferson. This month on Pathway to Victory, we're looking at some of Jesus' greatest parables. 